Hello you Ariola bandits, Jim Sterling here and this is Wild Guns Reloaded. This is an old SNES game that's been re-released. Uh, I bought it today on the PS4 on a whim. Uh, it's been redone, it's got extra stuff in it. I couldn't tell you the difference. This is actually my first time ever playing it. Uh, I got it today on a whim because like I said, it's the, it's the end of the year so I'm just sort of picking up bits and bobs uh, just to see if there's any interesting coverage potential. Uh, I'll tell you this much. It's a fucking, fucking hard game. It's, it's a hard, hard cowboy game. Uh, I'm, yeah, not very good at it, but I'm trying my best. It seems like one of those games that you got to play over and over again till you recognise all the patterns and know stuff, uh, which, let's face it, I don't have the patience for. But it's an enjoyable game. It's very well put together. Uh, you can see why it became the cult classic it became. Uh, very challenging. Uh, nice style, it's got a kind of steampunk cowboy thing going on. You can see the, the old Wild West uh, wooden signs on the storefronts, but with uh, glowing electric things. So that's cool, nice style. It's got four, got four characters, uh, one of which is a dog with a robot. That's pretty cool. I'm playing uh, the cowboy Princess Peach person, uh, Wild West Princess Peach. Uh, and. and more or less just running left and right and, and shooting stuff. That's a boss. It's a big robot cowboy. Um, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I don't even know if I'm playing this correctly. Uh, I'm, I'm jumping away from bullets and shooting. And when you aim, the character moves left and right as well as the radical. Uh, which takes me getting used to. Obviously, if this was a modern game, you'd expect to be able to use the triggers to shoot with maybe some manual aiming and independent movement. Uh, but you don't get that with this game because controllers were not uh, really designed for that in the olden days. So there was compromises that had to be made. It leads to a game that feels very different from what you'd imagine any uh, modern game with a shooting mechanic to have. Uh, it is interesting how you know these old compromised mechanics uh, just don't exist anymore. You can't get a game nowadays unless it's deliberately designed that way that feels like like this. Like, like Wild, that was a terrible waste of a special move there. Uh, but anyway, uh, and yeah, unless they're really deliberately going for it and then you never know, they might get critically mauled for it because a game like this that had it from the beginning and became a cult classic, uh, that that's acceptable that it has that control scheme. But if someone tried to redo it, uh, unless the critic really knew the game it was aping, they'd probably slam it for it, for its archaic control scheme. So, it's just a discussion about how standards change, which reminds me of The Last Guardian, actually. You know, we were talking about The Last Guardian, that's been talked about a fair bit with its mixed reviews. Some people saying it's acceptable that the game uh, feels the way it does to play, others saying not so much. And I think a big part of it, um, is, is that it, it's a 10 year old game that released uh, this month. That's always an issue with a game that's been in development for so long. I'm talking a lot of, I'm really tired. I've been getting up at like 3 a.m. every morning for about a month. Uh, no matter what time I go to bed, boof, up. Uh, I don't know what it is. I go through these weird sleep patterns sometimes, so this one's been going a little longer than normal. Uh, so I'm a little bit, a little bit sleepy in my talking, but uh, some of this stuff's just hard to avoid. There's so much going on on the screen at any given time. It confuses my old broken eyes. But anyway, here's a proper boss. That seems to be how the levels are uh, structured. Uh, I, I, sorry, I amused myself there saying this seems to be when this is a really old game and, and all the knowledge about it that could be known is known. And I'm talking about it as if it's brand new and I'm just sussing it out. But, well, I, it is to me. It's new to me. Uh, so I probably am just screwing everything up. But, you know, I'm having a laugh with it when I'm not dying. I am dying a lot, to be fair. Because, like I said, I'm not very good at the game. But I do like the big robot with the three green eyes. I uh, really like the visual style of it. It's, it's cool. And again, I like uh, the visual style of a lot of these old games, but... Again, it's not something you see replicated outside of sort of this this graphical style, this this era. You get 3D games, they don't look... You don't get robots that look like this in 3D games 
I don't know why. Am I making any sense today? I feel like I'm not making any sense. I popped his head off. It's one of the problems with pre-recorded footage. Because if I do PS4 footage, it's pre-recorded and I record my voice over it. Uh, but it's it's a shooting gallery. It's like a shooting gallery style game. There's not a lot I can talk about with regards to the action. Um, so I'm just talking a lot of bullshit right now. Just a ton of bollocks. Which, incidentally, is uh, another name for me. I am a ton of bollocks. Anyway, this is... You can choose four levels after the first one. This seems to be the easiest one, if only because I've almost been able to beat this one before. But this is literally as far as I get, this this particular series of stages. I get to the last boss of this one, I haven't got past it yet. But, you know, like a lot of these old games, uh, I'm getting better the more... Like, you know, pushing a little bit further each time. So I reckon, you know... Give me another couple hours, and I'll be able to show you a, a different level. I was going to go through all of the levels in turn, the ones that I can select beyond stage one. Uh, go through all four of them, but I lost patience with that, because the other ones really are a, a pain in the ass. This was the first time I realised that you could shoot the big money... Well, actually, I, I had an inkling you could, but I was too busy concentrating on the other enemies. But those big money bags that fly at the camera... You can shoot them and keep them up in the air for, you know, fun bonus times. You'll notice here, this is... Like, even looking back at my gameplay, I can see where I've picked up some of the patterns just from... Just subconsciously through playing this over and over again. Because this was not my first encounter with this level. Uh, but you just kind of get trained to be better at it each time. And there we are, that's that's the first bit of it. This is the second bit of it. With robot -y security guards and things and little turret tanks. This level's a bit of a pain in the arse. That new Shantae is out. Is it Shantae or Shanti? You know the way forward. Genie. The, G the old Genie Girl games. Playing that later as well. Probably do a video of that sometime this week. Interested to check that out. Looks really pretty on a, you know, in high def and all that business. Looks like a good, uh, looks like a good game from the footage I saw. Hopefully it's good. Way forward, uh, uh you know, they're, I'm 50-50 with their games. Some of their games I play, I don't really get on with them. I don't really like them all that much. And then some of them I play, I really, really like. Uh, Way forward, Way forward has a lot of credit built up with me just for the uh, the Aliens game they did. They did the Aliens Infestation on the DS. And, and that was really good. I tried replaying it recently. It, it is a little obtuse. Um, and the years haven't been too kind to it. Even though it's not like an old, old game. Uh, but it's still, it's still a fine time. It was still... The thing that I still really like about it was just how creepy it was. You know, it's a game with graphics sub this, you know, what you're looking at now. You know, it's all on a little DS screen. And it's hard hard to make a portable game scary, uh, much less a portable game with a 16-bit-esque art style. But uh, they did it. Like, the, the xenomorphs in that game are actually pretty intimidating. Uh, that, that It's got some nerve-wracking stuff in it. So that was good. That was a good game. This one's alright, you know, see why people like it. It's got nice robots in it. Good, good robots. And just these patterns that you're going to have to get killed by to, before you sort of learn them, from what I can tell. Playing Final Fantasy VII at the moment. It's in the other room, I can hear its background music going a bit. I was just possessed of a while to replay it. That and Final Fantasy X, um, both of them I've been inspired to play it with by, by playing Final Fantasy XV, which obviously you all know I'm a, I'm a fan of. That's that's a, a like a ping pong gun or something. They seem like ping pong balls to me. They do no damage. It was a really bad time to get that, 
I'm almost tempted to suggest if I hadn't have gotten unlucky with that power-up, I might have killed that robot before it killed me and got off this level, but I didn't. So that's that. That's the video done. I really did talk a supreme amount of bollocks on this video.